YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today, I have a quick review on a bag that I literally carry every single day, especially during the summer months. It's the Transit Sling from Vertex. Alright guys, so I figured I would make this video because I am literally asked almost every single week uh, what bag do I use for off-body carry and what do I recommend, do I actually use it. Uh, so I figured let's make this video and address all those questions and just knock it out. Um, yes, I do off-body carry, especially during the summer months. Here in Las Vegas, it gets into like the 115s, the 120s during the summer. So I'm typically in gym shorts and a t-shirt throughout the summer months. Uh, that being said, I don't really have a belt on during the day, especially when I'm just going back and forth between the shop, the gym, and running errands. Um, if I don't have a belt, I am running the Transit Sling from Vertex. Uh, I'm going to break down my whole layout and what I carry with me and why. In addition to that, I will show you the different products that we make and that I use from other companies in conjunction with the Vertex Transit Sling. And hopefully after we go over all this, all of your questions will be answered and some of you might want to actually go out and pick up this bag. So as always guys, before we get started, you know I like to give full disclosure. If you follow us on Instagram, you know that I work very closely with Vertex. A good buddy of mine is on their marketing team. So in exchange for media content like photography and videos like this, they send me out bags to use in my daily carry. So Vertex, thank you, much appreciated. For those of you who are familiar with Vertex, I'm sure you're aware of the slings in their lineup. Uh, I chose the transit sling, which is the smallest one they offer. They also have the commuter sling, which is the medium size, which is about the size of a normal backpack. And then they have the commuter XXL, uh, which we have a video that kind of went viral where I pulled a 10 and a half inch AR pistol that was folded with a law tactical out of it. Um, that's the bag that I used in that video for those of you asking. So fortunately for me, I was able to try out the different sling bags before I decided on which one I wanted to use for my everyday carry. Um, I did decide to go with the transit sling because it is the smallest bag they offer. Being an everyday carry bag, I wanted something very minimal. Uh, I didn't want something big and bulky that would be cumbersome when carrying, so that's why I chose to go with the transit sling. So let's start with the first pouch. I typically carry a pocket knife there. The reason being, most pocket knives come with a pocket clip. Um, the clip easily clips onto the molly webbing inside this pouch. It also has a quick pull tab so you can easily get to the knife if you need to. Um, it's just super convenient, that's why I carry it there. This pouch also has a hidden compartment, uh, which is extremely useful for maybe if you're traveling overseas. Last year I went to Europe and I always carried my passport and extra cash in this pocket just because if somebody was to go through your bag, they wouldn't be able to find it. As you can see here, there's a Velcro lining which makes it look seamless and like it's sewn in. You can easily hide stuff in there if you needed to. That's definitely a cool feature that I like about this bag for traveling. Now in the second compartment, the first thing I put in there is my level 3A backpack panel from Safe Life Defense. I know some of you might comment down below that the armor panel should go in the rear pocket under the zipper flap. 
Unfortunately, the level 3A panel from Safe Life Defense is just a little wider than the other body armor that's out there, so it doesn't fit in that pocket. Uh, it fits just fine in the second compartment, and I also strap it in, as you guys saw. I actually prefer the wider backpack panel uh, because it provides more protection when I have to sling the bag and draw my firearm. As you guys also saw, I was able to fit my 11.9 inch iPad Pro on top of the backpack panel with no issues. Um, it zips up just fine. There are little compartments, zipper compartments, and like kind of pocket protector uh, compartments for pens and pencils. Um, I carry a Sharpie and a pen, and then in that zip up panel, I will put my phone and wallet. Most of the time, my phone and wallet will be on me. However, maybe at the gym, uh, if I'm gonna throw something in my locker, I will have it inside the bag like that. Now let's move on to the third panel, the fun panel, with the cool pull tab zipper. In here, I rock a Glock 19X with a Dynamic Weapon Solutions slide. Um, for everybody that's asking, the Cerakote was done by the Republic Rifle. It's their Callahan camo. Um, I also run a Trijicon RMR on it. That sits nice and snug in our secondary on the waistband holster. Uh, when you purchase this holster, the mounting holes will line up with our Velcro mount. Um, I take off the belt paddle that it comes with and then I attach our Velcro mount and as you guys see, it's nice and secure inside the bag. In addition to that, I will run the Pimp Carrier from Lunar Concepts. Um, this is their Velcro mounted carrier for magazines or Leathermans. It's kind of an all-purpose utility type uh, Velcro pouch. However, I use it to carry two additional magazines for my Glock. If you guys are familiar with Lunar Concepts, uh, you know that typically their stuff sells out quick. So if you're not able to pick up one of those carriers, uh, our universal double pistol magazine carrier will work with our Velcro mount just fine. Uh, you mount it through the two top holes. It sits nice and secure and holds two magazines for you as well. Uh, Vertex also makes their Tactigami, which will hold a single mag for you, no problem. Now, before the comment section starts getting all crazy, uh, I do want to just make this statement. Yes, I agree 100% that the best way to carry is on your body concealed inside your waistband. However, being practical, uh, a lot of the times here in Vegas, I'm not wearing a belt because it is just too damn hot outside. Uh, and plus, if I'm going to the gym, I'm not going to put a belt on. So with that being said, that's why I run this Vertex bag. I've been running it for just over a year and a half uh, on a daily basis. With that being said, I also want you guys to remember that there's nothing wrong with carrying a secondary weapon platform in this bag with you. Uh, if you're carrying concealed on your body, there's no harm in having this bag with you. Um, if you have other stuff that you're carrying, why not throw in the extra full-size gun with a full-size weapon like Red Dot and Spare Magazines. Uh, I'm sure if something were to go wrong, you would much rather have this than not have it. And the last thing I rock on this bag is our quick violent overpatch. It's got Velcro there. Why not put some morale patches there? Um, for those of you who want the bag to look even more discreet, get yourself a Nike patch, get yourself an Adidas patch, put it there and it makes it look like just any other gym bag. So that's it for my review on the Transit Sling from Vertix. Uh, I hope that answered the question for those of you that have been DMing me and asking about this bag. Um, maybe also for those that are new to this bag, I hope that you guys can be open-minded and see why I carry it and I hope it makes sense. Um, especially for those that are in the hot states like Nevada, Arizona, um, the desert states, if you guys are dealing with the heat, this is definitely a good option. Um, they have an entire lineup of bags that are very similar to this one. If you're not into the sling look, they have regular backpacks that I run uh, for when I go to trade shows and stuff like that just because it's more comfortable. And the firearm compartment in those bags is just as easy to access for you. So I definitely recommend you check out Vertix. And if you guys are looking for a discount, hit our buddy Talon. He has an awesome discount code for Vertix. It's 25% off. Definitely use that. Again, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. As always, if you have questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next one.